Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is going to be a very quick introduction to a command called T and it's a very useful command and I mostly use it when I have to do some logging in my shell script and you'll be using that. I mean, it's a very uh, interesting command as well, right? So let me just show you the man page of this very quickly. So you can see T reads from standard input and write to standard out and file. So you can print out something on the standard out and you can put that into a file as well, right? Let's quit out of that and I'll show you how. So if I do something like say uh, echo, right? And I want to say hello world, very cliche, but echo will only put this on standard out, right? But what if I want to put this on standard out and in a file as well? So we'll just pipe this output to a T command and we'll say, let's create a file. I think it creates a file. So hello.txt, right? So you can see we put it on the standard out, but if we do hello.txt, we have that on hello.txt as well, right? So what's, what's actually the use of it? So one use is very evident. You can put the output of any command, right? Into a file and you can say, call it a log file, right? Something like a log file, you can do that. Uh, one very important use of this command is when you want to run something as a sudo on a remote machine, right? Say, suppose I want to append something uh, on in etc fs tab file, right? Uh, as a non root user and I have to do sudo. So you can't do something like sudo echo x, y, z, say, right? x, y, z into etc fs tab, right? Right, something like this, etc fs tab. And this is I'm talking when you're running this command from your local onto a remote machine. So you can't do like that. Uh, let me switch to vagrant user and see if I can do that. So Vagrant is a sudo user and if I do sudo echo hello world and I want to put this in something like etc fs tab right so you can see you got permission denied and because you you actually don't have permission as a vagrant user on this file, right? So even if you do sudo echo, that's that's not going to work. But uh, let's see if we can do it using t, t command, right? So what I can do here is I can do echo, hello world, right? And I can pipe this to a t command and I'll use uh, an option A, which actually stands for append. And since I have sudo access, I'll do sudo t because I need sudo. And then I can do etc fs tab. See, we didn't get any errors. So let's just cat out etc fs tab. And somewhere down below, you can see hello world has been put in, right? So that's actually one of the very good use. If you want to run something as a sudo, want to put something in a file as a sudo user onto a remote machine, not local machine. I mean, you can do it on local as well, but it's mostly when you are, you're doing it something, something on a remote machine because there normally you can't switch to root user in a shell script, right? You want to run some shell script. So that's where T is actually very useful. I've, I've used that a couple of times to do stuff, right? So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to keep it very short, uh, last video of the month as well. So yeah. All right. So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you liked the videos. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.